Okej, okay, siemanko, lecimy dalej z koszem NBA 2K20. Serdecznie zapraszam na kolejny meczyk. Second quarter. And 
So it's Jackson who brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. Baseline try. And no good that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. This game against Detroit here, it's their first meeting of the season. Two division rivals facing off tonight. They'll see one another four times this season. And Smitty, with all that he's been through, you can't question Zach Levine's love of the game. You're so right. It's crazy to think Levine wasn't even a starter in college, but he's worked so hard to improve the way he has fought back from injuries and continually dedicated himself to the game. Something to admire. Have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Morris. In block. That one goes careening off the glass. That time, Carter's length and vertical paying dividends. He has tremendous potential as a rim protector. Levine, good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. The pass to Morris. 116 left in the first half. And that one drops for him. And the first time out of the game card for Chicago. Looking at the Bulls roster, there is a lot to like. They have a great collection of talent, and their core players are all very young and improving. Bulls making a switch here. Lights checked in. And a different look here for the Pistons. Drummond's checked in for Morris. Blake Griffin comes in for Christian Wood. New boy is checked in for Langston Galloway. And it's Rose in for Reggie Jackson. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Rose. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Zach Levine. And Steve, for the Bulls fans, their hopes lie. Totally agree. The Bulls should focus on developing that core. Have a good blend with Levine, Marketing, and Carter. They just need to keep their eye on the prize. Bulls making a switch here. Archie Diakonos checked in. Inside. And with that, the Chicago lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Rose. Derek is just exceptional in the paint. A gifted score amongst the trees. It's Porter outside. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got five assists in the game. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Griffin with it. And it's Carter picking him up. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. The former five-star recruit first overall pick in the draft. Griffin's been slowed down only by injury. This is his first free throw of the game. Griffin hits them both. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Outside, marking it. Five seconds, separating the shot and game clocks. That's the goal. Porter in the corner. This one for three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got four rebounds now tonight. Jumboya kicks to Kennard. I like the defense there by Zach. Stays aware and gets himself in perfect position. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. It's the Bulls up three. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. The second quarter was a different story than the first and that's good. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Auto quarter really making a difference here. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. 
and it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the floor for Detroit. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Derrick Rose is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Duboya in at the small forward position. Jackson gets the bucket. Steve, there are certain players, as we know, who can really back you up and get you on your heels. And then they hit the brakes and they hit you with a pull-up jump. They're very tough to defend. Kevin, you said it best. Being able to hit the brakes and stop on a dime, I think it's James Harden, Steph Curry, C.J. McCollum, Kyrie Irving. Those are some of those names where guys can go in fast pace, fast motion, then stop and pull up and be on balance and knock down the shot. Here's Dumboya after the main shot from Lowry Markkinen. Shot clock at five. Griffin, shot is off. It could be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Hunter inside the three-point line, rebounded by the Pistons. Drummond's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Jackson. Count the bucket, coming up, perfectly placed assist. Jackson's got 11. The developing field Reggie Jackson has for scoring inside. Playing much more under control these days. Time called here, and the Bulls decide to talk it over. I love this. Andre Drummond has gone on record saying he is one of the last true centers in the league. Hard to argue with that statement, given how Drummond has played. Detroit making a switch. Marquis Morris has checked in for Andre Drummond. Christian Wood comes in for Blake Griffin. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Dumboy. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Rhodes. Right there, Carter using his instincts and motor to track down the miss and convert into second chance points. There's Galloway. No points in the game yet for him. And that's a foul called on Lowry Markin. That's his first foul. Rebounding in defense, Drummond provides Smitty. Feels similar to an old school center. Yeah, it does. Drummond is still very effective, even without having an outside shot. But he's gotten better at that. Most centers now can shoot threes, but Drummond is happy to stick to what he does best. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. The Bulls leading by three. Passes it to Gaffer. Left side, Porter. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Here's Sonoronski. That one doesn't go. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Uh, and a two-for-one is there for them if they want it. Often the way you end quarters has a big impact on the outcome of the game. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. The Pistons have gone three of four at the free-throw line tonight. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And that one misses. Well, the Pistons, one of the more successful franchises in NBA history. Three titles and many other trips to the NBA Finals. Only a handful of franchises can say that. And here's Jackson after Chris Dunn made that last three-point. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Morris. Uses the glass to finish the way. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain that. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the bowl. A two-point game. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers at Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. And that will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Dunn buries it down low. Dunn's got five points now in the quarter. The third quarter comes to a close. Bulls lead by four. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2 Kids Sports. And from the most recent huddle, let's listen in on head coach Dwayne Casey. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got Zach Levine, Otto Porter Jr. out there with Carter. And Chris Dunn. And it's Zadaramski into the shooting guard position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. He misses the free throw. Two boys checked in for Detroit. And he 
six the second. Chicago leading by three. Dunn passes to Porter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. One thing about Otto Porter, he does a good job of playing to his strengths at the offensive end. No good on the free throw. White, he's checked in for Dunn. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Wood. Great job there to make this a two-possession game. Rose against White. Rose passes to Drummond. Banked in off the glass. Not many do a better job of carving out space for himself than Andre Drummond. Right wing. There's the triple. Cracks in the tray. White's got himself on the board with three there. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Tried to bank it in, but he missed it. And that's okay. Even though you missed, you had the right guy taking the shot. There's no bigger play in a close game than a putback slam. Oh, and that one's got them all hyped up. One. They're bringing the energy, the hustle, the fight. He also didn't give up on that possession. And it's the Bulls with the ball. After the basket by Detroit. The shot by Shadranski, no good. Now left to the wing to tie it up. Another three for Detroit. The Bulls have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. He feeds it to Carter over Drummond. The shot's good from Carter. And the Bulls lead by two. Well, you wonder why we're seeing so many points tonight. Just look at the beat. And late in the game here, it's just as important to get stops. We'll see if either side is up to the task. That's the kind of leadership you want from Blake Griffin, a guy who wants to take those big shots. And so the timeout here by Jim Boylan. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Andre Trump. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, during the timeout, but listen, then I'm Jim Boyle in trouble. He told him, hey, guys, this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. And hey, when you're a big shot maker in college, that often carries over to this level. Certainly, that's for white. Now, here's Jackson. Feeds it to Griffin. Over corner. And he has brought them to within two points. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Lewis Carter. Here's the pass to Samaranski. Bulls moving the ball around. Four on the clock. And they call an illegal screen here. Hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you got to protect the ball. Plunkin' in. He's checked in for Chicago. Timeout called by Detroit. They're down by two. 27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mr. Griffin outside Rose to take the lead. Rebound by the Bulls. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Bulls. The lead is two, and now they decide to foul intentionally. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. Nice job extending the lead and making this a two-possession game now. Time called here. The 
Pistons decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Looking for a quick shot. Trying to extend the game. And on the deepest of end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picking. It drops. And he has brought them to within two points. I will put him in the category as a clutch player. Derrick Rose delivers again. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. Free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here, so now it's a four-point ball game. And, and that's Curtin's form. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. I'm deep. And so the big win by Chicago on a tight game. It winds up for grabs right until the final seconds. this group has in one another what it matters most. Or what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. No okej, okay, to by było na dzisiaj tyle. Dzięki za oglądanie. Zapraszam na kolejne odcinki. Do następnego.